Hello, this is Division with Variables. Thanks for coming back. This is another problem. Uh, let's take a look. <gasps> oh my God. Here's the equation on top. On top we have on the numerator a plus two plus two a. And then we have on the denominator on the bottom five a minus two plus four a. And then the whole thing equals one half. You can start going ahead and doing all of this and taking that out and making that positive and doing negative one and taking this out and this becomes one over two a if you want to and then cross multiplying and seeing if it will work that way. But I'm going to do the long way and then I'll show you the other way uh, later. I'm just going to go on ahead and leave everything the same without reducing fractions. And let's see how it works out. Okay, so this is 2a plus 4 because you're multiplying everything times 2. You are cross multiplying. And then this becomes 4a. Don't forget to do the other side. This is a 1. You can save yourself some time because you know 5a times 1 is going to be 5a. Anything times 1 is going to be this. So a stitch in time saves nine, go right ahead. And once you finish that, just go on ahead and write it over here, save yourself some time. These two are like terms. That's on our next page. Find common like numbers and like variables, add them together. This is 2a plus 4a is going to give you 6a. And you have four as a constant by itself. which equals 9a on this side minus 2. Oops, I'm going to go here. So the only way to combine the variables from here on out is if we take something to the other side or one to the other. And it doesn't matter which side. Um, but I'm going to start taking the constants out first. And what are the constants? The constants are the numbers that say by themselves. Wow, that's a geometric O. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, you guys know what a constant is. Okay. Um, so if you look at the slide already, it's already been done for you. So it's minus 4 is 0, excuse me, minus 4 is this, is negative 6, 2a plus 0 plus 4a. And then you equals 5a minus, this is two negatives, so this is negative 6, and then 4a just comes straight down. So now you have a new equation, 2a plus 4a equals 5a minus 6 plus 4. So here I just made it more common, 2a plus 4a equals 5a minus 6 plus 4. And now we're going to combine the like terms on the other side. And when you do that, you have 6a, and you have a, a, you have a coefficient with a variable here. It's a coefficient because it's in front of a variable. It's not a constant because it's not standing alone. This is your constant over here, negative 6. You don't have to do anything right now. You need to combine your like terms, and somehow you need to either take negative 9 over here or take negative 6 over here. Okay? And I took negative 9 over here. You can take negative 6 over first, but then you got to drag negative 6 over here. Save yourself some time. It's negative 9. Even though it's a lesser number on the number scale, it is still a negative. So negatives take place. So your number becomes negative 3a minus 6. And already you know that this number has to be positive because a negative times a positive equals a negative. But we went ahead and did the math here. Negative 3 over negative 3 is a equals 2. It becomes positive because these two negatives cancel out. They become positive. So your answer is a equals 2. So we're going to look at this equation in an easier way. There is a way to just go ahead and factor out the a 
and this, but then that's going to make you work to factor it out again. You could factor out the a from here, excuse me, and then you'd have 2 plus 2, and then you'd have to factor it back in. That gets long-winded. So let's go on ahead and do the easy way. Let's go on ahead and combine like terms. This is a plus sign. So that's why you're adding. This is actually 1a, in case you forgot, so 1a plus 2a is going to be 3a. That's what I wrote here. 3a, and then the 2 stays the same. Just drop and bring it down. What's going on here? This is going to be 5a plus 4a, which is 9a, and then your minus 2 equals a half. So I kind of showed this. Now we're cross multiplying. These look like waves, but what I'm saying here is you're going to do this 2 times this 2. That's going to give you 4. And because you're crisscrossing like this, you're multiplying. See how it's a multiplication symbol? So you're multiplying. So it's 2 times 2 is 4. This is 2 times 3a, so it's 6a. This is 1 times 9a, 1 times negative 2. You're going to leave that the same. And so you have 6a plus 4 equals 9a minus 2. And then just like you did before, subtract negative 4 on both sides. That crosses out. You get a 0 here. Negative 2 plus negative 4 gives you a negative 6. So you're going to have 6a equals 9a minus 6. And that's what we showed on the slide. And now 0 is over here by itself. So you're going to have to go over here and do this and get 3a minus 6. Well, you're taking a positive 6 over here to get 0, and you're going to bring the 6 back over. So you had a 6 on, you had it as negative at one time, and then you took it over as positive. And so this is what you're going to do here. The way this is written, it makes it look like it's a less easy than what it is. You already know 3 times 2 is 6, but let's go on ahead and show it on the next slide. You divide the reciprocal 3, divide 3 into itself, you end up with 1a, 3 into 6 is 2, 2 equals a. So once again, we have the same thing and done a little bit more quickly. So we're done with that.